Hi, this is the third video in this particular series where we're looking at making Y the subject of the formula, uh, where we're rearranging formulas and making them different subjects. Now, the problem I've got with this one is I've got a Y here and I've got two Y here. So I need to get rid or find a way to get my Y's on one side of the equal sign and pretty much everything else on the other side. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get rid of the brackets. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to multiply everything through. So this side, I'm going to get 3Y plus 6. This side I'm going to get 5a minus 2ay. Okay, so a little bit more complex because I've got a y here and a y here. All right, but I need to get those together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this expression over towards the left hand side. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because I don't particularly want this minus sign here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2ay to both sides, okay? Because if I do that it means this and this cancel out, but on the right hand side now I get left with 5a. On the left hand side I get 3y plus 2ay plus 6 equals 5a. Okay, so we're getting a little bit closer because what I want to try to do is to get the terms that contain y at least on their own to start off with. So I'm going to get rid of this plus 6. And again, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to minus 6. Okay, so if I minus 6 on both sides, on the left-hand side I get 3y plus 2ay. And on the right hand side, I get 5a minus 6. OK, now this is where um, really we're knocking on the door of, say, something like a grade 6 type question, maybe possibly even a grade 7, probably closer to grade 6, actually, where what you've got to spot is that while I've got these two terms together, 3y plus 2ay, and they equal 5a minus 6, I have the ability to factorise for y. Because if I do that, it means I've separated out the y term from the multiplication that needs to take place in order to make 3y and minus 2ay. But because these two are multiplied together, I can then divide by 3 plus 2a. If I divide both sides by 3 plus 2a, so divide by 3a plus uh, 3 plus 2a, if I divide this side, those two knocked out and I get y on its own, which is exactly what I'm looking for. On the right hand side, I'm going to get 5a minus 6, all divided by 3 plus 2a. And that would be the answer to this particular question. OK, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do leave a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Have a look in the uh, channel uh, playlist for other examples of similar sort of questions. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.